Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at writing a thesis statement. Now, a lot of you guys may be asking, okay, well, what is a thesis statement? What part of the essay is it? Well, essentially, it's the argument that you're making. So a thesis statement is the argument that you're making towards any particular subject, and you support it um, throughout your entire paper. So when we're taking a look at a thesis statement, we wanna make sure we have a little bit of organization with it. So um, came up with this little acronym, SAS. Some of you may be familiar with it, uh, but if you take a look at it, SAS, um, the three letters, S would stand for the subject. This is the thing that you're talking about, right? The main uh, idea, right? Um, the argument is your position that you're taking with a particular thesis, right? And then finally, the last S is your support. You can't make any particular argument without supporting it, okay? So I uh, made out this uh, thesis statement right here, and we're gonna break it down into its main three parts, right, in SAS format again, right? So we'll take a look at it, and we'll read it first, and then we kind of mark it up as we go. So it says, college should be free for everyone because more students would pursue higher education, job demand would increase, and students would have a stake in their education. When you take a look at it, it looks overwhelming. But remember, a thesis statement is only one sentence, right? Okay. Now, we'll take a look at it. So the S, subject. What is the subject here, right? So we're taking a look at college. College is our subject, right? It's the thing that we're talking about throughout the entire thesis statement, okay? So that's our uh, subject. Now we have our argument. What's our argument? Well, it should be free. It should be free for everyone. That is our argument right here. Just kind of like labeling it here so you know where each part is, right? Um, so we have our subject, our argument, and our supporting details. Now, our supporting details, we wanna make sure we have about two to three supporting details when we have a thesis statement, okay? Don't go overboard, don't do four or five because you're just doing more work for yourself, all right? So just do about two to three, all right? Now, how many do we have here? Well, we have one, right? So this is the first reason right, why college should be free. The first reason is because more students, whoops, more students would pursue higher education, right? So that's our first reason, okay? Um, job demand would increase, that's our second reason. And finally, a third reason is that students would have a stake in their education, right? Students would have a say and students would have um, the choice that they want to make with their education, okay? So again, the three parts of a thesis statement include the subject, the thing that you're talking about, the main point, right? Um, the argument is what your uh, position is that you're taking on this argument, on this uh, thesis statement, okay? And finally, the supporting details, you can't make an argument without supporting it, okay? Um, and those are the main points of a thesis statement, okay?